Hello and welcome to Kika Tutorial 1.4 Part A Assign Capacitor Footprint and KiCad Capacitor Footprint Format. As already mentioned, this uh, video series is based on a blog that appears on the screen now. In this particular case, it is KiCad Tutorial 1.4 Assign Capacitor Footprints in KiCad. The link to this blog appears in the, the, in the description below. So far, we have drawn this circuit as you can see this uh, circuit or schematic is uh, at the moment appears in um, a schema the next step would be to allocate to each and every symbol a footprint and this we will do with the assign footprint uh, window. To do this, we, we click on tools and then assign footprints. It is the icon with the op amp and the little green horizontal integrated circuit towards the lower left. As can be seen, the assigned footprints window opens. This little window that appears here, you don't have to pay much attention to it. Um, just click yes, as well as uh, uh, this window, just click OK. The reason why this window appears is because uh, each time I, I load a new version of, of KiCad, uh, it doesn't know where the old libraries is that I've generated and then these error windows uh, appear. But don't worry, we're going to correct everything, we're going to check everything, that everything is okay. But as you can see, the assigned footprint window opens on the left is the footprint libraries uh, window. In this case, uh, battery is selected. Uh, and on the right, the filtered footprints of the battery library uh, appears. You can see before each footprint, the word battery appears. In the middle, all the symbols of our schematic or diagram is listed. Um, as you can see, KiCad has numbered them from 1 to 15. Starting with the with capacitor C1, 100 picofarad. Uh, to illustrate this a bit better, if you click on here, if you look at the circuit diagram, you'll see uh, capacitor C1, 100 picofarad turns red. If you click on uh, C2, capacitor 1000 picofarad, uh, you'll see that C2, a 1000 picofarad, also turns a red in the schematic. As you further will notice, that as far as capacitor C1 to C5 is concerned, uh, there has been no allocation of any footprints. As well as uh, diode D1, MBRS340, nothing appears after the colon so the no footprint has been allocated however j1 remember that is that footprint we downloaded from the uh, digi 
key website. It is that terminal block. As you can see, KeyCAD has, has already um, allocated a footprint, source footprints, terminal block with uh, dimensions that relate to the terminal block. And as you can see, the terminal block in the circuit diagram lights up red. Uh, this, it also uh, uh, allocated a, a footprint to J2. Uh, as far as inductor L1, TCAT did not allocate the footprint, as well as resistors R1 to R4. Uh, U1, KiCad has already allocated a, a footprint, and uh, the footprint's name is package SO and surface mounted IC as with indication of the relevant di dimensions. And once again, if you look at the circuit diagram, uh, U1 is indicated in red. KeyCAD has also uh, allocated a footprint to U2, SOIC8 uh, hyphen SI. If we look at the circuit diagram, once again U2 is indicated in red. Okay, so um, as I've already mentioned, we're going to use this window to allocate uh, footprints to the different components. But first, I would like to discuss the KiCad capacitor footprint uh, format. At this stage, we can just click OK. Okay, so now as far as the KiCad capacitor format for a footprint is concerned. The footprint format for a through hole technology THT capacitor in KiCad, it can be found at the KiCad library convention by clicking here. The KiCad library convention page opens. I'll put the link, this link, in the description below. Uh, now, to find the correct spot, we have to scroll down the right until more or less over until here at THT capacitor, and here is the style for a through hole technology capacitor. Um, however, I discuss it in the blog, and this is how the format looks like. The C forge slash CP underscore style underscore L underscore D for diameter underscore width, W for width underscore P for pitch. Okay, C forge slash CP, that is the capacitor polarization. C, if it's C, there's no polarization. If it's CP, the capacitor is polarized. Style is the uh, case style. We'll get back to that. Case size, that is the body length. Uh, diameter is the case diameter. Width is the body width. Pitch is the lead spacing. Then there are also other modifiers and, and options available. Okay, the style, it can be actual, which is a cylindrical body with a actual lead attachment. Radial is a cylindrical body with leads enter at the same end. Now, just to refresh your memory, this, uh, this is how a radial package looks like. It's a cylindrical body with the leads coming uh, out of one end. 
disc very simple. I would disc uh, star is rectangular. That's also very simple. Now the size are indicated in the in the case of an axial body size. It is, it's indicated by L for length and D for diameter. Radial body size, a D for diameter and H for uh, height. Disc uh, body style is indicated D for diameter, width, W for width and H for overall or, or height. Uh, box size or, or easy, it's basically the, uh, the three dimensions of the uh, box. To illustrate this a bit better, if we look at an example of a capacitor, or rather a keycat capacitor footprint, take this one, capacitor THTC disc uh, D 8mm W for 5mm P 10mm, then we know it is the footprint of a through hole. Uh, this, this is indicated by this THD through all technology. Unpolarized because it's only a C. If it was polarized, it would have been CP. The rest is fairly easy. We know it's disc shape because of this word disc over here. We know the diameter is of the disc is 8 millimeter because of D 8.0 millimeters. We know the width of the disc is. 5 millimeters because of W 5.0 millimeters and we know the lead spacing is 10 millimeters because of the P 10 millimeters as indicated here. Now to choose a correct component and also the accompanying the footprint for that component we need to know the highest voltage in this in the circuit and this can be also uh, be established by simulation. Uh, I have, an, in actual fact, already done that and, uh, with this simulation in LT Spice, and I've established that the highest voltage is over here at the boost pin of the LTC1624 uh, on this leg of capacitor C4. Um, and I've done the simulation. And as you can see, this is how the output looks like. Uh, it exceeds the input voltage of 12 volt. But as you can see, the voltage stays below 18 volts. Therefore, we can conclude that the highest voltage that a component will be exposed to in this circuit will not exceed 18 volts. I think this is enough for now. Next time we will start allocating the footprints to the capacitors. I do leave links in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you feel this video has helped you, click the like button. If you would like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.